I hope not, but probably you saw that American movie, The Transporter, where the hero defies the laws of physics when he drives, and they never explain in the argument of the movie how he can do that. Um, before same happens to us, let's talk about something. If you did your homework properly, you will realize that there is no borders between Czech Republic and Hungary. So how comes that there's no chapter for Slovakia? A little bit nervous and excited at the same time because I'm about to hit the border between Slovakia and Czech Republic. And I think they might ask for a PCR test because of the COVID thing. And um, I don't have it. <laughs> but let's see, I'm lucky. So probably, hey, I'm healthy. I'm healthy, like a truck driver. I've been in quarantine all this day. That counts as a quarantine. I was in the mountains alone, not talking to, to people. Uh, I was in lakes, forest. If there is someone not very likely to, to be contagious, that's me. The, the border is a river and there was nothing here. So, <laughs> so we are officially, officially in Slovakia. Nice. I, lo I love Europe. I love Europe. No borders. No, um, no, um, what was it? So let's see, let's see how it's uh, Slovakia because I'm not planning to drive many kilometers here. So I'm planning to go directly south and um, and try to hit the Hungarian border as, as soon as possible. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing here how people just stop. They just stopped in the middle of the road because he wanted to ask someone something. What a cliche. A tourist criticizing how locals drive. Unfortunately, these are the only images I have of my cruise on Slovakia. The rest I lost them. That was my first camp spot in Hungary. I was super excited. And that, that's the reason, is the Danube River acting as a natural border between Slovakia and Hungary. That first morning I met a couple of environmental police and after they checked I was not illegally fishing and we agree that my Defender was better than their Toyota. They advised me not to be such a loser and go to a better spot next to the river. They pointed to the map and told me if you keep driving 20-25 kilometers more the environment becomes like the Amazonas. Look at the spot I found to spend the night. It's really cool. This is a place that really I don't understand why is not mentioned that much or maybe it's just my ignorance, you never know, but I didn't hear anything about this place for nature 
and off-roading and 4x4 and it's actually it's a paradise <laughs> it's a paradise it's kilometers and kilometers sort of of nature river it's it's a paradise for you and me for sure and to do some paddle boarding tomorrow but let's start thinking in today and today what we have to do is start getting collecting some wood to do a firework at night some something really good i i thought initially that maybe it was not uh, possible to do fire here but i have found several um always in spots like this so probably this is how it should be that they count that you uh, they count on your common sense that you're not stupid and you know where you should do fire so and I like it I actually have to say it is it's relying on people relying on your um, responsibility and yeah that's what we do so let's cut some wood to check what was here so I walk first and look at this I never saw them so in their natural just like that wow wow yeah for people born and raised in Europe I think this is normal but for me Now they decided it's enough. I have to stop them too much. Look, there goes mom and all the little boys that they are not that little anymore. Found this tree. And I wonder what is that for? Be good to know for what they are doing this. Looks professionally made. I really wonder what what's this? It's like a water tank hanging there. There are some apples here. By the way, can you see the size of that vesp? Wow. I think it's like a trap because right there there is a blind for the hunters so probably that's it Yeah, there are more. Apparently, there is a place. Here is a place where they come to drink water. And uh, I was there. Our camp is there. And then I heard a, a noise. And then, very quietly, I took the, the lantern and and flash it here. And then I saw the eyes of all of them. There was like three pair of eyes. And they like standing quiet. And then they just left. But they scared me for a moment, huh?
Oh shit. means okay the flag means that there is a big hole <laughs> okay shit um you see covering mud I was trying to get out of a very complicated situation that I get well not very complicated but it could have been very complicated if not because i was going slowly the, um, the car got no it was very slippery very very and when i was going out it's well i will tell you later in more detail let me clean myself now it's really challenging to get out of that forest really <laughs> i was was happy saying goodbye to the, that beautiful spot and then wow it was so muddy <clears throat> my experience i never drove before in uh, such a muddy conditions so i was not aware that uh, the car basically drives differently differently and i was like okay sweating i didn't close the the window and then I get full of mud but that was fine the the main problem was that I was lost inside the forest everything was a hunter's path and they were leading to nothing but hunters blind and um, yeah with the road wet and so narrow with trees in one side and another uh, was was really challenging but fun Damn, so narrow but I hope yeah, yeah. there's plenty of space come on you want to you want adventures you want adventures there you go No, no way, no, 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 no. Okay, here it goes. Now I have to explore and have on foot. I'm very, very lost here. The, um, the path just disappeared. It's just like hunters, you see? Hunters blind and it's a labyrinth. It's like they know how to come to this point to make their job and they know how to get back. But there is no way. I mean, this is no way out of the forest. So I'm actually very lost. The good thing is that it's daylight. So this is what confused me because I see this and I think it's a path, but it's not. It's just that the hunters at some point they come with the cars over here. You see, there's a big, big spider here in the very middle. It jumps. Activation. I can relax. Enjoy this sun in my face and drive destination Croatia. Uh, let's let's see how Hungarian radio sounds. It's music that we like. 
Now listen, listen the Hungarian music. I mean language. My ako študáci, ja viem, že že to bolo, že Ježiš mať niečo teplé v bruchu bolo perfektné a toto bolo to asi najlacnejšie a najjednoduchšie. I understood perfect. And you, you understood anything? Damn. The British. Brexit. No Brexit. I love Europe. No Brexit. <laughs>